Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. the glory great things he has done beloved we are welcome to Sam for the day reaching out to you from rccg um central parish here in abuja and as we share the word of god today together we pray that the power of god's word will break out to you and bring you blessings in the name of jesus amen our psalm for today is taken from the book of psalm chapter 77 verse 16 psalm 77 verse 16 the bible says the waters saw thee, O God, the water saw thee, they were afraid, the depths also were troubled. This is a psalm that speaks about the greatness of God and his ability to deliver his children. If you read that psalm from verse 1, it talks about the, the power of our God, how God can fight on behalf of his children. Although his children may be in predicament, in challenges, insurmountable, several questions they are asking, God, why are you silent? God, when are you going to, in, going to intervene for me? God, when are you going to bring me out of this situation? That psalm speaks to the anxieties and worries of God's children. However, it also speaks to the fact that your God is mighty. My God is mighty. He can do all things. He can deliver. He can save. He can set free through whatever means it chooses to use. And in this psalm, where we read, we are looking at the fact that the problems and the challenges you have, they have eyes and they can see the greatness of your God. It says, the waters saw thee, O God. The waters saw thee. What does that tell you? It means waters, which could possibly represent issues of life. Challenges of life, overwhelming situations, situations you don't have answers to, questions in your heart, they could be likened to waters, likened to flood, to overwhelming situations. Psalms, the psalmist says here, waters have ears, they, they have eyes, they can see the oh God. The Bible says in Psalm chapter, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, Isaiah 43, verse 2. It says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. That is what God says. That the waters that look like issues and challenges of life that are flowing against you, that are coming at you. He says, when you are passing through it, I will be with you. Listen, these waters have ears. They can hear me. They have eyes. They can see me. So they have eyes to see God and they become afraid. Your challenges see God. The problems and the challenges of life that you have, they see God. They have eyes to see God. And he says they will be afraid. That was why when Moses got to the Red Sea and God told him, lift up your hands, the Red Sea saw God. And it parted. It gave way for the children of Israel to pass through. I pray for you that every Situation that looks like an overwhelming ocean or sea of life, body of water against you. God will make a way through them for you today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Waters see God, challenges of your life. They know the existence of the almighty God. All right. So when waters see, when your challenges see God and they are afraid, what should you do? You who should also rise in faith. The challenges see God, the problems see God, and they are afraid. When you stand up in faith, in obedience to that God, they know that they can no longer stop you. That was what Moses did. God said to him in Exodus 14, 15 to 16, 
Why are these people crying? Why are they wailing? Just tell them to move forward as you lift your hand. So Moses in faith, believing God for what he set him to do, lifted up his hands and the waters responded. The waters were afraid, but Moses leading the children of Israel rose in faith. They were full of faith to do what God asked them to do. So whatever the challenges you have before you, beloved, be bold in faith in the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Every word of God produces faith in you to overcome every challenge of your life. Still in that verse 16 of Psalm 77, it says, The depth were troubled. The depth were troubled. The depth of the sea, of the Red Sea, before the children of Israel, the depth were troubled and they had to make way for the children of Israel to pass through. What had never happened before, that a sea parted ways, a dry land expressway was created in the midst of the sea, happened that day. Why? Because at the instance of faith in the word of God, the depth were troubled. Way was created in the midst of the Red Sea. As you hold on to the word of God in faith, Every opposition from its very root and foundation will crumble, will give way, will make way for you to go through in the mighty name of Jesus. Say with me, Lord, I believe your word is powerful to overcome every challenge of my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when the depths are troubled, what should you be doing? You should be praiseful. The waters are afraid. You should be full of faith. The depths are troubled. You should be full of praise to God. And symbolically, in terms of praising God, Moses lifted up his hand. That was a posture of worship and praise to God. He lifted up his hand and says, Lord, I praise you because you have made a way already. In faith, as they lifted their hands, Moses lifted his hands and he praised God. God made a way. The depths gave way. The depth gave way for the children of Israel to pass through. In this season, I pray for you that the Almighty God will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. As we come to the end of this month, everything that has been like oppositions, challenges before you in the beginning of this year till now, God will make a way out of them for you and you will triumphantly move into the coming month and the rest of the year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. This word will make way for you and cause you to excel in all areas of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy your day. Celebrate your goodness tonight.